Welcome to the Upbeat Gardener. Simple answers for gardening, relationships, and life. I'm Marian Owen. You can appreciate a good night's sleep, right? Well, imagine my surprise when, after laying my head on the soft pillow, I heard a strange chorus outside. These are cokies, a small brown frog the size of a nickel. They were accidentally introduced into Hawaii from Puerto Rico in the late 1980s. Now, koki frogs aren't poisonous, but in addition to being a major noise nuisance, they have a voracious appetite for insects, which puts Hawaii's native birds and animals at risk. Thus, this little frog poses a big threat to the island's fragile ecosystem. Koki frogs are an invasive species, just like African honeybees and kudzu. According to the website invasivespecies.gov, the invasion of non native species is one of the greatest threats to the world's ecosystems. While koki frogs announce their presence, for invasive plants, it's another story. Once established, they silently spread like wildfire across parks, preserves, and roadsides. Introducing alien plants is all very innocent. You visit a brother in England and sneak a few plants back in your checked luggage. Yes, about half of the worst invasive plant species in North America were brought here intentionally for their medicinal, ornamental, or food value. And, ironically, many garden centers unknowingly sell invasive plants, shrubs, and trees. So, what can we do? For starters, learn about your region and go online. There are many state, regional, national, and international groups organized to educate the public about invasive plants. And many communities have invasive plant councils, as well as don't plant a pest programs and community weed pulling events where you can pull weeds and dine on fine pizza. In Hawaii, homeowners are learning how to deal with koki frogs. They're encouraged to inspect all potted plants and spray their property with citric acid. And since it's the male's mating call that makes all the racket, people have learned that raking leaves, introducing chickens, and pruning here and there stirs up their habitat, which tends to, how should I say, interrupt their plans of romance. So, if you hear this sound, you've got frogs. If you have any questions or comments, my email address is mygarden at alaska.net. Until next time, I'm Marian Owen.